What's up, you freaking maniacs? Starting a new week. Second week of vlogs. So, today's probably going to be uneventful, so you probably won't see much, but um, I'm playing my new Resident Evil. I got Resident Evil Village, so I'm playing that. And then I have an interview today with uh, uh, high school. <laughs> Words sometimes, man. Words. Anyway, um, but if anything big or interesting happens, I'll get it on video. I'll let you know. Dude, fuck that baby. All right, day two, going on a daddy-daughter date. Yay. With the middle child. What are we doing? We are at IHOP, and then we're gonna go watch a movie. What movie? Uh... Gaia. Yeah. <laughs> All right, have fun. Day three, not getting into much today. Um, taking the girls to some therapies and then gotta take one of them to head off to a summer camp for the week. So, <laughs> my life is boring. It'll get more interesting, I'm sure. Well, like I thought, didn't do much anything fun today Wednesday um, had a couple therapy appointments but I'm not gonna show those on camera and uh, and that nothing really I did have a good conversation with my therapist though about you know weighing myself and things like that and I think I'm coming to the realization that I have this unhealthy relationship with weighing myself because now, like, I'm defining, I'm not defining myself, but determining whether I'm, like, a failure or anything like that based on the number on the scale. And that's not healthy. And I know that's not healthy, but it's hard not to, you know. Ideally, my personal trainer wants me weighing once a week, you know. But I was weighing once a day. And then more recently, I've been weighing, like once twice a day and if it's a particularly hard day I'm weighing like three four times a day and not even for any good reason you know like yesterday we went out on that daddy daughter date I ate IHOP and I ate popcorn which both of which have a lot of sodium in them so I knew I'd be retaining water and I weighed myself knowing that I would be heavy, heavier. And I just, for the life of me, that that just, it didn't make sense. And, but I felt like, like compelled to do it. I, I wanted to see the damage like that I had done and like make myself feel bad about it. And that's not healthy, you know? You should be able to go out on daddy-daughter dates in the middle of the week if it's summertime and you can. So, I don't know. That's just something I've been thinking about. I have a workout tonight. Uh, I'm working down that weigh-in. Um, but it's just, you know... It's something I've been thinking about and I, I don't, I'm struggling to figure out how to fix it, you know? I know, look at like non-scale victories, but outside of that, like, 
I just blew air in my eye. That fucking hurt. Why? <laughs> How? How do you do that? Jesus Christ. It didn't hurt, but it felt weird and it itches now. Um. Anyway. Uh. Shit, now I forgot what I was saying. Oh, so I know one way is to start looking at like non-scale victories, things like that. So I'm gonna start looking at like shirt size and whenever that changes, I'm gonna record it. Um, I started at a 7X and now I'm down to a 5XLT. And so five extra large tall. <laughs> um, I want to look at pant size, which I got to go get some new pants. So I don't know what my current pants are, but I know I got to do that. I'm going to start taking like measurements of myself with like those little like ruler things. And then I don't know, like taking like mental notes of like my energy throughout the day, how my joints feel. Cause that was a big problem when I was close to 500 pounds was my back hurting, my hips hurting, my knees hurting, you know, getting tired really easily, you know, wanting to sleep all the time. Of course, that's half of that's depression. Most of that's depression, but a lot of it was also my weight. Um, but I guess I'm just looking at those non-scale victories and uh, recording them will help, I guess me feel better versus weighing myself all the time because you can't be defined by a number I'm never going to get down to like an ideal weight by society standards which I guess at my size would be like 200 pounds maybe never going to be 200 pounds my goal right now is 280 <laughs> and maybe 250 because that's where I was at in high school but I'm a different person now. So 280 is what I'm searching for. And then just maintaining healthy lifestyle from there. And then, oh, I gotta show y'all weight goals. Oh, I gotta show y'all how to do that. So I think that's what I'll do. I'll like record like non-scale victories and then maybe I'll, I'll videotape that tomorrow. Tomorrow though, we have pregnancy appointments and that's gonna be exciting to videotape so and I have another interview tomorrow so another exciting thing so tomorrow's gonna be a little more exciting um, and then Friday my mother's coming down so <laughs> with my oldest daughter fun stuff fun stuff we're working at it we're getting it done we're at the baby doctor what are we doing Hopefully seeing the baby. <laughs> Are you nervous? Yes. Yeah? Very. Okay. <laughs> See, it wasn't that bad. We didn't get an ultrasound though. Are you nervous though? It's gonna be okay. I know. I'm mad. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I had an appointment to get an ultrasound done tomorrow and I canceled it. <laughs> they canceled your ultrasound appointment? No, I was going to get one and say on pregnancy and I canceled it because my daughter had one today. Bummer. Oh well. Okay. We're still getting one though. Five weeks. Yeah. Well, today had its ups and downs, but tomorrow will be great. We're recording the podcast and um, my oldest daughter is coming back home from my parents' house. So, and my mom will be down here too, bringing her home. So, it'll be fun. Tomorrow will be good. Oh, what's up, guys? Um, so, I didn't do a lot of car talks this week because they're so long, but I feel like today um, I really kind of needed to do a car talk. So,. Let's have one. <laughs> so, need to have a car talk today. 
Um, as you can see, I'm all sweaty. I just worked out. Um, Weight-wise and mental health-wise, I haven't been feeling great. Um, but I talked to my therapist about it, and I'm going to bring it up to my personal trainer and see what she thinks about it, because she's kind of mentioned it in the past. But I think my relationship with weighing myself has gotten a little unhealthy. So my relationship with the scale has gotten a little unhealthy. You know, so I talked a lot about non-scale victories last week. Um, but it's so easy to get that reliance on that number because it's a thing that you can like hold on to. Whereas non-scale victories come very intermittently and can, you don't know when they're coming and they can be vague, you know, it's important to look for those, but I understand how, because it's happening to me right now, you can rely so much on the scale. So I'm going to talk about this on my TikTok tomorrow. Not a lot, but if you're coming from there, it's probably because I sent you here to learn more about it. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm going to weigh myself on Saturday. I'm not going to show what I weigh because I'm not happy with it and I already know it's not going to be good. Um, nah, maybe I will show what I weigh because I don't want to hide that from anyone. So I'm going to weigh myself and then I'm going to take my scale and I'm going to put it away somewhere. Um, even though I know it's there, it's not out in the open and it's not an urge to weigh myself because honestly, like, like even today, I've weighed myself three times and I've eaten since this morning. So it's only like self-flagellation. You know what I mean? And it's bad because I want to see this number progress. I want to see if I'm, what's going on? What? Why am I gaining all this weight and all this stuff? But the scale is not going to tell me that. It's just going to tell me a number, you know? It's not going to tell me why that number is the way it is. So on top of that, relying on the scale, and if it's not a number that I personally like, <laughs> then it's something that, if it's not something that I like, then I end up stressing about it. And stress can cause you to retain weight or anything like that, because your body's like, oh, I'm going into a stressful time, I need to save up energy. And a good way to do that is to, you know, build up different reserves of energy, whether it's, you know, whatever it is. I wouldn't say I'm gaining fat back. It feels like it whenever I look at the number, but I'm not sure. I haven't, you know, gained any inches. My shirts aren't being tight, aren't tighter than they usually are. So I'm hoping that's not the case. Um, another thing I talk, so what I'm gonna do is to take my scale put it away and for a week I'm not gonna weigh myself at all I'm gonna push on like nothing's a problem so I know where I started at this Saturday and then the next Saturday a week from this Saturday I'm gonna pull that scale back out and I'm gonna weigh myself once one time in the morning after I've used the bathroom because it's important to use the bathroom. <laughs> that way, I can see I'm not I'm not getting all my worth from that number on the scale like I have been these past couple days because originally my plan was to weigh myself once a day. And I was doing that for a while. But then like when since it's summertime, I'm a teacher, I'm sitting around the house more. Um, I have more free time to take my daughters out on daddy-daughter dates and things like that, as you've seen. <clears throat> so I don't eat as well on those dates. I, I try to drink a lot of water to offset any sodium intake. Um, I end up being worried about what it looks like after I've done all that bad stuff. And I know in my mind 
you've done this, it's not gonna be a number you like. But I end up weighing myself anyway, and then when it's a number I don't like, like I knew it would be, I get pissed at myself, and I get sad, and I get depressed, and it makes me wanna eat, and it makes me stress out. It's something I'm working on, and it's something that I think I'm gonna try this week after talking to my, after I've already talked to my therapist, and um, I'm gonna talk to my personal trainer about it. Um, another thing I'm gonna start doing, which again, my therapist helped me come up with is I'm gonna start taking a log of all my non-scale victories. So I'm gonna have like starting points for clothes, clothes size, so like shirt size, pants size, um, not shoe size because I'm always gonna be a size 15. <laughs> um, I'm also gonna start like, I'm gonna go get some cloth measuring tape, whatever, you know that thing that tailors use to measure your, make your measurements? I want to get my measurements. I'll look up on YouTube how to get my measurements, and then um, we'll go from there. <laughs> and those will be my starting measurements, which I already know my starting shirt size. Um, I have some pants that don't fit me anymore that are from when I started this journey. My water bottle just fell over, but it didn't spill. Yay. Um, so I can get my pant size but my waist hip and like shoulder chest size that'll all be from this will be the first time I'm measuring it um, so that'll be my starting off point and then I'll measure myself I don't know once a month maybe so I get those non-scale victories so even if I am up a little in weight maybe I'm retaining water but my inches may be shrinking you know and it, it may not be I'm re retaining water. Maybe I'm slimming down, but I've still got some weight on, you know, and it's extra skin or whatever. It, it could be literally any anything. I, I, and I'm not a dietitian. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm just a fat guy trying to lose weight and keep it off and be healthy and there for his children when they're old. You know? I don't want to die before my oldest graduates high school in two years which when I was 500 pounds who knows you know but I'm working on it you know I'm getting my blood pressure down I'm you know doing all of that stuff so we'll see how that goes <laughs> um, there are gonna probably be a lot of cuts in this car talk because I had a lot of long pauses But that non-scale victory idea came from my wife at first because she, as a form of encouragement, which is why she's so amazing, she started recording, you know, my starting weight, my goal weight, what I have left to lose and how much I've lost. Which I know those are weight numbers. But to see how far I've come. Is amazing. You know. I've lost more than 50 pounds. Since last. August. You know. Um, I'm getting close. To that. 52 pounds a year which is healthy sustainable I'm past that 52 pounds a year which is healthy sustainable weight loss healthy sustainable weight loss if you don't know at least what my personal trainer says again I'm not a dietitian or anything like that is about one pound one to two pounds a week you know um and it's slow, and that's 52 pounds a year, so if you have a lot of weight to lose, like me, <laughs> where I want to lose 207 pounds, it's, it's daunting, to say the least, to just lose 52 pounds a year. Now, I set some goals for myself at the beginning of this year of what I want to accomplish, 
and hopefully by the end of this year, starting in January all the way to December, I want to be a total of 91 pounds lost because that'll be 52 pounds in 2021. <clears throat> My lowest, most weight that I've lost so far is 67 pounds, which is great. It's amazing. Like, not a lot of people can say that, and a lot of people gain that weight back, and I have it. And I still go out to eat. I still do all this stuff. <clears throat> but I'm doing it in a sustainable way. And I'm happy about it. I'm happy about it. Which is the most important thing. Healthy and happy. You know? Because what's the good of being healthy if you're not happy? And they don't come with each other. They may tell you that they do, but they don't. You know? Yeah, I still battle my depression, but I'm working on that. And this is helping me. I don't know. And I'm not saying that this will help you if you have depression. Don't don't get that because I still have my days where I'm just like <laughs> fuck everything and everyone and my life I just want to take a break from life it's like I just watched Bo Burnham's Inside which fucks me up by the way but at a point where he said, he, he said, if I could kill myself for a year and then come back, I'd do it. And I've never related to something that much, you know? It's not that I'm suicidal, which I have been. Sometimes I just want to break, you know? Ugh. <sighs> Life is hard, and it sucks a lot sometimes, but I still think about all the great things that I've done and I've had and I have in my life. I don't know, I guess what I'm saying is, you know, my weight loss is helping me, you know, in my depression. I've never been motivated like this before. And it's probably because I've never had kids before, you know, that I want to live for. I've never really had much I wanted to live for. I, have, I now have a wife. I have kids. I have a baby on the way, which I'm still mad that we didn't get to see that ultrasound. A lot of times I was just sad and I didn't know why which made me even more sad and then it would become this vicious cycle to where I wouldn't want to get out of bed and I didn't want to do anything I didn't want to play my video games I didn't want to get on the computer I didn't want to see people I didn't like sunlight which I'm a ginger, so me and Sunlight don't agree. Anyway, I didn't want to move because it almost hurt to move. And this was back when I wasn't as big as I am now. So it was a whole nother reason other than I was overweight. I kept pushing. My faith helped me. I have friends that helped me. My mom and my dad, in their own way, they helped me. More recently, my sister has helped me. When she was growing up, she was too small to help me, but now, I don't know. She's a good person to vent to. I'm not as angry as I was before. Um, 
I still get angry really easy. And it may be a ginger temper, it may be my depression, or it may be both. <laughs> but, yeah. So that was a rabbit hole that we just went down. Um, let's bring it back. Uh, wow. I did not mean to go down that rabbit hole. I'm so sorry. Anyway, let's bring it back. You know, tonight I'm working on my podcast, you know. Um, I may do an unboxing video over the weekend. Uh... tonight's going to be about de-escalation and school safety. I'll probably get maybe a short clip of it for, for y'all. All right, so I didn't record the podcast tonight. Um, some things came up, but we're going to record on Sunday, so I'll include a clip for the podcast um, in next week's vlog. Um, but definitely go check it out. It's Teachers Anonymous. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. So, go check it out. <laughs> um, she She's on it, too, sometimes, aren't you? Yeah. So, it's a good, it's a fun time. We enjoy it. Okay. So, and then, look, my daughter's back. Yeah. Lily. Say hi. My mom's here, too, somewhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll show her later. That's my mom. Hi. Hi. But we're all going to watch Luca now. It was a good week. So. It was my favorite dog. Fun. <laughs> I'm terrible at, like, outros. So. Yeah. That's, like, the thing you do at the end of the video. You have an intro. You have an outro. And an outro. Oh, can you send me your outro intro? Do you Why? have one? I mean, it's not like an intro intro. You Do you want me to make you one? That's all for now. Peace. That's usually what I do. <laughs> you're, you're I usually go, all right, you freaking maniacs. I'll see you later.